Throughout the nine seasons of the A7F Bell, one team's name has rung out more than any other. The Patterson U. Appearing in four of the last five A7FL championships, the U settled old business when for a second time in two matchups, a controversial call cemented a win between them and the Trenton BIC. Yet there is more business to attend to, as Carlos Croslin and Snag Sosa stare across the sidelines from a Baltimore Watchman team made up of players who they've known since childhood, or mentors who look to bring Baltimore back to the promised land. Now John Gauss Jr. returns to Asbury Park, home of a singer-songwriter who believed in a promised land. Can the Watchmen end the U season and possibly end an era of dominance? Or will the players they once called teammate be the ones to deny Baltimore their first chance at a title game since 2018? The road to Bullhead starts now on the countdown to throw off. Yeah. Ready to play now, put me in the game now I came here to prove it, I'm ready to do it, I can't be afraid now Put me on the stage now, I'm ready to rage now I feel like an animal stuck in a cage and I'm ready to break out time we welcome you live to asbury park stadium in asbury park new jersey for the a7fl playoffs it'll be a big northeastern division championship showdown between the number one seed baltimore watchman and the number three seed patterson U. am matt ryan and i'll be joined in just a few moments by big rob fabian and Corey hammond as we break down this matchup an all important win or go home game with the winner moving on to the A7FL Conference Finals to go up against Dominique Rogers cromarty and the Tampa Nightcrawlers. The Patterson U got a big win last week going up against a very game Trenton BIC team. The U knocking off the defending champions in a second straight playoff matchup between these two teams where it came down to the final play of the game. The U moving on last week and the Animals gave the Baltimore Watchmen a hell of a time Two weeks ago, the Watchmen pulling ahead late, but the Animals and Quattro Huffin kept themselves in it nearly in the entire game. So it'll be very interesting to see today how these two teams match up as we head towards the A7FL Championship on July 23rd in Bullhead City, Arizona. The winner of this game today is again going up against DRC and the Nightcrawlers. But let's talk about the West real quick. The Insomniacs in the sick with it is our 7 o'clock Eastern game. 4 p.m. Pacific on Fox 5.2 right here in DAZN and A7FL.TV. The Insomniacs defeated the OTT two weeks ago, and the sick would it trounced the LA Aces in a battle of two of the top teams from the Southwest, but we'll figure out who the Southwest champion is a little bit later on in tonight's broadcast. I'm so excited for that game, but let's focus on this one right here. The energy is high, and the stakes are even higher. Let's talk about how we got here first for the Watchmen. Hashtag watch this. They have scored the most points and allowed the least amount of points in the A7FL's toughest division in the Northeast. For me, this seems to be their best case scenario. They lost to the BIC in the regular season, and they were able to get by them in the playoffs, not even meet them in the playoffs after the U handled business two weeks ago. Speaking of the U pressure, the U have made the last five A7FL championship games. They need to stifle the Patterson U today and make history of their own, where for the first time since 2018, a non-New Jersey team will make it to the A7FL championship. And that one is a huge burden to carry for the Watchmen heading into today. But let's talk about the team that will be standing across from them on the field going up against this epic, intrepid Baltimore Watchmen offense, and that is the Patterson U. And folks, you see Antoine Matthews there, the Super Saiyan, but he's going to have to bring his A game against Kareen Moon. A goal line stand from Kareen Moon saved Patterson season two weeks ago against the BIC. Get their win back. They lost to the Watchmen in the regular season. The U really need to show up today on defense to stop John Gars Jr. and that prolific Watchmen offense and running hard. The U are no slashes themselves in the scoring department, rushing the ball an average of 200 yards a game in 2023. And that shows the kind of power behind Carlos Croslin and Kareen Moon behind center. Some great work from that team. And folks, this is where it all came down to on the goal line. 
Will we see this happen again? Will the Patterson U have it come down to two seconds and a goal line? Or will they be able to get and move ahead to face off against the Nightcrawlers? When we return here on the A7FL playoffs, we're going to go inside this game. We're going to give you some receipts, and we're going to look ahead and prognosticate a little bit. Will it come down to a goal line stand? Will it be watch this, or will it be the U getting close? We'll find out next. In Set out in motion, that is Jamal uh -oh. Ski Johnson. The snap, the it's handoff, the big bodies. and pushing through the line is Marcus McKinney. And Marcus McKinney will be dragged and brought down at the 25. It'll be second down. And I think that's what the U wanted to come out to and do, regardless of what the scheme was, who was lined up where, punch him in the mouth immediately, let them know we are going to be running this ball. Shout Get out buckled to, in, guys. Shout out to number two of the Watchmen uh, getting hit by. He was just getting braced that's Aunt by Mo. McKinney. The handoff again and dragged down at the feet, brought down, and that is number 30, the Ricardo Wolverine. Freeman. And guys who are new to this league, and especially the Baltimore dis uh, division and, and the talent on that roster, you know, we've been saying hashtag watch this. This is the first time we really get a chance. But Second. you might be Third. you might be confused to see that type of guy with That's that size tackle. make such a great play, but for a, uh, nearly a decade in this league, the Wolverine has been one of the best defensive players against the run, and it doesn't matter the size of the man if the size of his heart is that much better. And that was Wolverine and Nick Mays on the stop, and that's a name we haven't said much, but that's another all-star caliber is, mean player. Machine. Mean Machine, Nick Mays. Mays switching over. Moon kept in on third down. They'll pass. Great protection. Moon will find the Us. seam of... Excuse oh! me! Jukes him like Why Iverson in 99. The ball deep! Oh, and incomplete. No flag right in front of the ref, so it'll be fourth down. And that, that intended for Coburn. And Look very reminiscent of another team with a similar name. And on first and five, the toss. Finding the seam is Thomas. He'll get to the 41, and it will be second down. Not so it'll today. be first and 10 after the penalty. Omari Thomas set up to the left to snap. In oh my trouble, goodness, the Buck pressure. gets caught, tosses it to Thomas. Thomas pushes through, gets oh it to 50 to 40, stays wow. upright, and they wave the ball dead, and it looks like it'll be a flag on the defense. And one of the most important players on offense for the Watchmen, Omari Thomas, who is the guy they asked for tough yardage, for that, for the sneak yardage on the, on a play like that, where he's just in the right spot at the right time, but you can see once he's got the ball in his hand, he's ready to make a play. Look at the size of those offensive linemen, and look at the pressure and the weight coming on the defensive side. Thomas will get the ball, carries it, brought down inside the thirty-five. That's all running back because there's very little blocking on that play. He makes the first guy miss, miss with speed, and then he okie dokes the second guy to get that extra I six think yards. It's more OG Buck recognizing that there's a mismatch. I think those guys are bigger than me. The snap on oh second down. Thomas finding the seam, getting to the yard marker, getting brought down at the 28, and it will be first down. The yardage necessary, but they'll spot him at the 29. Thomas will get the first down, and more. B button himself to the 25. Looked like it came out for a second, no. but not number two getting on it. That's Marquise Williamson, the dot boss, trying to get it, but it will be first down. I believe David Dinkins, number nine, set up to the left of Gauze Jr. He'll get the ball. Nope, he'll keep it. That's Gauze cutting to the sideline. And he'll get OG to the 15. Buck just, and that's what, again, OG Buck is very dangerous. He's not a fast guy. He's not the fastest quarterback we've seen, but when he has in his mind that this is a setup run play, you're not going to get those two steps on him in order to stop him from getting what he's trying to get. He well, only wanted like six, seven yards on that. Matt Ryan drawn by Corey Hammond, and there he is, OG Buck, set up behind center. They'll fake the toss. Buck there it is. tosses it, caught, oh and brought, slides it into the end zone. Touchdown, mean machine. Nick and that's Mays. Nick Mays, but it was two guys wide open wide in the middle open. of the field. Wow. That play action was so <laughs> elite on the jet that the entire U defense was worried they about the lost. jet motion. They were lost. The and counter flood. Nobody covers the mid or the flat route. Buck's setup plays are so dangerous because there's so many different things he can do at one time out of these formations. That middle stay open, but two it's guys wide open? Here's the one point conversion from the five, and he takes off. Buck will go. Oh, he'll Championship carry. point. And there Seven it is. nothing. And the Watchmen stop the U for their first drive. Then take their first drive and score a touchdown. 
there you see OG Buck making his way to the sideline and wow. have that hashtag watch this across the crest of their jersey. And you can see it right there. John Cause, AKA OG Buck. Well, Kenny Buck. Prelu got caught watching the backfield and that's Nick Mays capitalizing for the touchdown. Seven nothing Watchmen. But do you get the ball when we come back? And we see here Nick Mays. that Nick, Nick Mays, Mays was not going to be denied. Yeah, he was not going to be denied. And it'll be Dion McDaniel again back to return. Uh, uh, why uh, is this? I wouldn't. Dion, uh, let me give Dion some respect. Dion has run a few of these back yeah. in phenomenal fashion. But you have he, he melted. He melted the three on one coverage of the Snow Tribe did. earlier this year. Shout outs to the Snow Tribe watching at home. And it will be My number guys. 18 throwing off. It's freight train. Oh, not let it fly. He's Launching it. Go. Wow. Burks tossing okay, that Dion. one. Okay, Dion. Hold on. Dion uh -oh. getting to the Excuse 25. Me. He will run out of play at the 28-yard line. It'll he's, be first and 10. He's jogging, a, he's jogging next to a lot of former teammates. Dumb baby. Yeah, Rakeem Chaney. Yeah, Rakeem Chaney, Buck. yes. Yeah. It's one of those things where you flip it in your head, but he comes. can't flip snag. Sosa! He gets dragged down at the 30. It'll be a gain for a one, and That's it will be second down. That's a tackle by number 15 on the Watchmen. Really dominant U run game, you see. Ooh, There's good one. blocking in front of it. One of the Millen brothers missed the block but there. Just a miss, ta uh, just a miss block. block on the inside, and Snacks he, can't take advantage can't of that hole. That. They can't afford second that and eight. at all. Key to the offense Ooh. and the defense, Nick Mays, flag called. They have to do something about Sly. The handoff again. again. And number 15. It's that same backside. Number 15, Anthony Elliott Crash again. down. You got to get that block. If, if, if that Miller brother gets that block, then there might be some room for snags. But if you can't cut back when Deshaun Johnson sets the edge, it doesn't matter how, how horrible Quinton Bragg's seal there is there if the backside the pressure. Backside just watch the – because what they have to do is they have to block bone. But you have to get – ooh, ooh might have been offsides that, okay, again. That's definitely I'm offsides. On, I'm wow. knocking on Baltimore early. Take a look at it. Let's take a look. He's coming. Deion Davis sets, sets back there. the throw. Us. And Pump it fake is. thrown Why deep not down. Let it fly. Field caught. Bye bye. Call that man. Bye Cash bye. money. Touch down. Baltimore. Watch this. Wow. And just like we always assume, it's a completely different play style with John Goss in. It's unfortunate because you just spent. The entire last drive trying to figure out what Buck was trying to do. John comes in with a whole new line that's fresh, a whole new wide receiving core that's fresh, and goes up top on his second play. And if one of these teams moves on, they've got a chance to head out to Bullhead City. And we want you there with us. Head on over to a7fl.com slash championship. That's a7fl.com slash championship. Use the code a7fl early. That's a7fl early for 20% off your tickets to join us on championship weekend. Also just announced three on one live. Our anniversary show of our podcast will be there. There's going to be flag football at Combine. Mike Tice, former Minnesota Vikings quarterback, will be the head of that Combine. We'll be chopping it up with him in Bullhead City. We want you there, too. Come celebrate the ninth season of the A7FL with us in Bullhead. Go to a7fl.com slash championship now. And much like this catch. Look at Child, please, with this great catch. Great tracking on the ball. Great focus on the ball. And he's just out of there. He would not be denied. This is a guy who a couple seasons ago, we were looking at him like he might be the best wide receiver in the league. He's back, guys. And he's he has freight train on the throw off, and he's been throwing bombs. That's caught inside again, the five. That's Dion again. Let's see something, Dion. The team needs. Oh, my goodness. Was that's, that Sherrod Cervantes? That was, no. that was Dion. Oh, no, that's Dion. He gets planted. And when you go with Oof. your big returner, right? Bigger <coughs> returner. Ricardo Freeman. And the Wolverine the takes him down like that. Man, you. Say what you want. If you walk next to Ricardo Freeman, you might be mistaken that, oh, that's a relatively smaller guy to be playing in this league. Yeah, well, right. just ask the guy who he crushes week yeah, in and week right. out. Hmm. It's a great catch. He's the Wolverine is a perfect it. nickname because this that is who he is. Take a look at look this at tackle. This. Look at this form tackle. Great. That is great. That, my, that's my it. coach that needs is smiling to, yeah. right now. My every coach, is smiling. Every coach watching down on this game 
loves that man, his game. That's how you tackle. So it'll be second and ten. This will be the last play of the first <laughs> quarter if they get it off in time. Yeah, they do. That's a handoff to Jones. Stephen Jones him. breaking uh -oh. loose. Stephen Jones uh -oh. comes towards the sideline, and he's brought down by Freeman at the 40. Changing time Somewhere I can hear Vince Lombardi Patterson. saying, a seal here and a seal there. Anybody, and that's, listen, anybody That's how thinking, you get yardage in the A7FL. But anybody thinking it was sweet and, oh, the you don't play good from behind, saw that comment. Please, watch your mouth. This game just started. We are, listen, have a seat. Get your popcorn, get your snacks. We're in here for the long haul. This game doesn't end till it's actually over. 15 minutes gone by, 45 minutes remaining in this world championship level fight. Be sure to follow us across on social media, every single platform, and be a part of the conversation. Drop a super That's, chat in ooh. there. And Stephen Jones Jr. finding his way to daylight, moving his body, shaking it down the sideline, trying to get six points on the board. But with it being first and 10, Freezing time on that play. Nick Mays versus Dot Boss. And we see that matchup off the handoff Ooh. and man at the line and driven back. Second down. Nick Mays is all in. Listen, we just called his name. You got you can't leave it's too many stars on that Watchman D line to to leave unblocked. Well, and, and if you're gonna if you're gonna get and penetration like that from the D line, you, you you're gonna have to have a counterpunch if Mays. you're the U. We just called his name. Take a look at Nick Mays. Also, penalties in the early going of this Are bad. game. Take a look at this. Costly on both in the sides backfield. of the ball. First guy to make contact. Then number thirty-two over the top. His name's not on the roster. It's a large human. That's a large guy. Number thirty-two really just filled it's like the hole. It's like if you post. and and Little Burton from the BIC. So it's four down, and it should be five. Take a look. Snap off the screen and off the hands. Did he catch it? In. Uh oh. Oh, they whistle uh -oh. it dead. They whistle it incomplete. Uh oh. Three down, and they're keeping the four. Wow. <coughs> they're always showing four. And the slot is number. That's uh -oh. Pat Coburn. Take and off. Crosland space. will Take keep off, it. Young man. Crosland will get to uh -oh. the sideline at twenty to fifteen uh -oh. to ten to the five. In Excuse there. Excuse me, sir. Touchdown, Patterson. They call him Pablo because he paints you a picture of six on the scoreboard, and the U back in this one. And the most stoic, nonchalant face you ever seen after a touchdown. I've been here before. Calm down, fellas. They just even the score up, and they're going for the one point to, to get within six. Very Trying to make this a one-score game. That's Kareem Moon behind center. Moon uh -oh, jukes go. his way to the sideline, and he will make it 7-13. to 13. It, And he made it, and those are the championship points that now have it a one-score game because now the Watchmen didn't score their second championship point. The rivalry between Kareem Moon and the goal line goes in his favor again. But will the U be able to get the score to keep this game way closer than the, pe the Baltimore Watchers want to make it? Take off. And, and we called for it early. We asked Pablo should be in. Not that Moon can't do it. Pablo should be in. First drive he's in, touchdown. Keep that young man and, in. And watch how he's looking at his progressions, but he doesn't check that third progression. He just goes with it. Well, when you have literally 175 square yards in front of you with no defenders, you might as well take it when you got his speed. Ooh. And you know Corey's a contractor when he talks about things in square or anything. <laughs> Listen, it wasn't just a straight line. There was there was, there was was a whole rectangle of, of footage, well, uh, square yardage there. Maybe they're doing their guy dirty by even putting him in when they saw him come on the sideline in orange. Brown. Come on, oh, uh. oh, no. <laughs> Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Is it going to be a Scorpion in Mortal Kombat situation? Here we go. Huss, Low huss, one. Huss. Tries to get past Snags oh. and drag down. Snags is not letting that happen. First this is 20. dangerous. In motion to snap. The play will go off. He's got the plenty throw of time. Deep Lord. down. Field caught. Oh, my goodness. And brought down at the 50. What a play by Baltimore. Ooh, in the. And that is number nine, I believe that well, is. Well, there's two number nines. Both of them are named David, so I'm just assuming that that was David, number nine. That's, that's Blick. That, wow. It says it on his back of his name, so Blick, Black, Blau, out there. <laughs> he gets the jet motion, and it's crazy. When you play action to somebody and then throw it back to him, that's crazy work because that's how great the design was. That's He's on a work. wheel post. Let's watch him. He has so much time in the uh, pocket that there's the guy in front of him, Hefe Jones, clears oh, it nice. out, and the post right behind it on the wheel, that's why it's wide open. Oh, wow. That's great design, and that just means that you have plenty of time. If you go jet action wheel post, congratulations, OG Buck for six seconds in the offensive backfield nice. in the pocket. 232 yards of total offense for the Watchmen. That means that they've been getting whatever they've wanted almost every play. First and 10. 
under eight minutes to go, and he'll keep it. No, he'll hand it off, and the, and the U and defense. It. And if I'm not mistaken, the first man to put hands on him was Charles Irvin. Do not read the back of that jersey. That is Charles <laughs> Irvin, yeah. former championship running, running back, back of the play, of the PlayStation Immortals, PA Immortals. I don't play, like they, they were a PlayStation listen, team. I don't like the Immortals because they beat me they up. Were listen, a shark. Like, they were listen, a how many shark touchdowns did Matt Riddick have that year? He had like know, 47 I, reception I touchdowns and three on one touchdowns. I don't talk about a lot That's, of this highlights. That is PlayStation. It'll be third down. Baltimore wow, in trouble. Pressure. Cuts through and brought and down at the line of scrimmage. So the U defense him. might have him. figured it out. Receiver in motion. Play action. Why not let the it fly? Me. He Caught. stole the pass. He stole the pass. Dot the boss. <laughs> we'll get driven down. That. See where they mark it. They'll mark him behind the 50 at the 49. And you got to know down. that Dot Boss got his other quarterback, Kareem Moon, in mind when he's running right <laughs> at DK Butcher and oh, all yeah. of the all of the pub and, and all of the press that DK Butcher got for that oh, one yeah, assault sure. on Kareem Moon. Well, Dot Boss gets a little back in blood, but it brings up first and 10. Great catch, great run. And that's what you get when you get a play action completion. The watchman got to play pass coverage now, so let's see if it opens up the run. Now they're dealing with a shifty, strong armed, fast. And is that tall Mayweather in the backfield? That's definitely Mayweather. That's a dangerous guy to open it up for. Your ski in motion again. Play action. Croslin dumps it to ski. Shoot, hus, hus. Gets to the 50, and he will be brought down or brought out of play at around the 45. But, and, a, and according to our research team, Oh, off Excuse the me. screen, Croslin doing better than he did against the Watchman first. And there's Henrock no getting it back. He missed the first, but then he bullies his defender there for the first down. It's Coburn. The snap. Croslin will have to roll out to his right. Goes. Throws to the sideline. Caught. Excuse me. And cuts to the sidelines. That's Dakari now, Mims now on the catch. What? Even with the pressure, that's an easy rollout, easy throw, easy catch. Coburn. Is delivered a ball downfield. In motion, he'll remain in the slot. Uh -oh, Roslin rolls out to his left. Uh, he evades the defender, handy. pulls an Eli Manning, stays upright, tosses it incomplete. And, that's and be a touch flag. Touch back grounding. Now he should have, if he's going to throw it away, when he's got caught the second time, he's got to let it go. That's Pablo just trying to make a play, but credit the Watchman defense for corralling him, making sure he couldn't get free. And they solved that issue that happened on the touchdown. It's twins at the top of the screen. The snap. Oh, Roslin evades the defenders. He'll throw to the sideline, um, caught on the knees, hus, and Pat Coburn stayed upright and brought down inside the 10. First down, Patterson. <laughs> and with 90 <laughs> seconds left to go, the ball comes out, and Big Man's like, nah, and you ain't doing me like that, my bro. My boy Big Miller said no. No, We're not sir. not taking any chances. And I wouldn't have dove for that. I would have Cam Newton did. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, nah. the play was already dead. You got to go You got to go all in if you're going to go all yeah, in. I'm not but the play is it. made here. Ant Mo is an athletic guy rushing Let's a quarterback. Pablo is able to climb the pocket, get an open receiver, and release the ball before he crossed the line of scrimmage. And That's not a perfect so throw. But about, go ahead. This is, the, this is the catch. Sly is not covering Pat. He's, He's covering, covering Mims. Mims, not you, Pat, right there. That, that's a great throw. And that's a great use of misdirection by trying to make that, that basically that game-breaker play. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. This may be the most important three downs that the, of the U season so far. And they'll hand it off to Angelo Lewis. Oh, no! no! Stripped and up behind the line. It looks, looks like flag. offsides. It it's looks like he got across early. It might be a chop, too. We'll see what Ryan Spadola yep, calls it a chop, and there it's on it the is. defense. There it is. You can't chop block in this league, fellas. That's a, Stand up and, and block. And that's a really, listen, that's a really tough play for a defensive end to make because he's getting pushed down. He's He's got that forward momentum and doesn't have his balance. Credit Beefy for getting through, and that's a tough guy blocking him. Oh, yeah, you can't oh, do that. Yeah. He chop blocked Deshaun Johnson. And, and, he, went for the, and he went for the shins snags. against Snags, yeah. so that penalty is going to be huge. It's going to bring up. Half the distance. Moon. Miller in motion. Excuse the hand me. up the snag. Sosa. And, and it's a tie game. You got to go to wow. Baltimore to get through Baltimore. That man saying oh, it's all about it. you. He's Miles Morales. Woo -hoo. And here's the crazy part. It's a lot of Baltimore and Baltimore crime right now. <laughs> First touchdown scored by Pablo. Second one scored by Snag. And you see Snag, not only does he go across the Spider-Verse, but he goes across the goal line for the Snags touchdown. Morales? Get me pictures Sna of Snag Sosa. <laughs> you can only score from the five or the ten. They go for one and a one-point lead. The throw. Caught Is it in? in? It's out. Ooh, they're saying he's out. And that's one of those really tough calls for the rest, Yikes. but I think he got it right because there's no line there. They got to judge it. But it's out, 13-13. That's tough. Matt, 
he have possession on, with the one great, hand? Because be that's the best angle. that's for me. Does this he have the, the possession with here. one hand with his left? Because when he corrals it, he's out. Foot in catch. No. Nope. Did you Foot see him catch. tap? Did you see him tap it when he was no, catching it? And that nah. didn't secure the pass. I think How they're gonna. You, it has to be Ryan indisputable. Ryan Spinola just came over to our position. We couldn't hear him. The call in the field will stand. That's what Ryan was telling mm, us okay. when we are back here in the. And booth. he's a he's a former NFL wide receiver, so yeah, he knows. Yeah, he, right. Is the fingers looking to run through <laughs> the, the defense like he's a bobsled in Calgary? I hate how AOT throws, but it gets so far. Sharp Jr. will catch it inside the 15. Okay, hold on. Uh oh. Excuse me. This there man's he is. dangerous. He drives right into the defender and goes right oh, to no. the tackle. Oh, no. Now he's putting his head somewhere else. And this is oh. this is a questionable <laughs> sus situation every time. But when you come up with the ball, man, <laughs> honey badgers are known for their tenacity, he, their he, will. He went right and sometimes, to the man's chest. He didn't. He really did. He went That's to put him in, what, like a DDT. <laughs> the snap. <laughs> the throw. Caught. Excuse me. And Tony Toe Tap. Tony Toe Tap. Marlon Anderson. Anderson will get brought down Gotta inside the 45. Hurry up. Hurry up. And they will call timeout. It looks like Baltimore calling. Is that the you call it a timeout? That could either side. It'll be their last timeout taken. With time. Throws it deep I'm downfield. See oh a body's incomplete, oh looking for a flag, and, and there is one. Yeah, and, and and there was all guys running into each other. Both routes wow. converged. Matthews and Tony Totap run into each other, and he's about to go super saiyan on the refs. But I don't know who the penalty is going to be on. It looks like it was on Patterson. It's, it's on, on Patterson. Patterson. That's a tough penalty. The snap. A little bit of In pressure. Trouble. Caught up he the dropped. head. Super Saiyan drops his signature pass. Yeah. That's the and pass that's six. he always It was behind catches. him, and it was a tough catch, but that's a catch that he makes. That's his quarterback because you're sending that extra guy as, as the pressure guy. Now they actually put Kenny Prelude back the on the spy. A little bit of pressure. In trouble. Throws it. Caught. In there. Caught. Oh, they call it no. a complete. No. That's Hefe Jones. He's upset, and they're they saying he was he bobbling it. Bobbled it. Oh. Well, they took it away from Dakari Mims on the extra point for the same reason. Yikes. Gotta that play was a well-placed ball. Got to play fit, and that was a very good pass. And they have pass. no timeouts left, Tough. and it's under two minutes, so they cannot challenge. But look, the formation sets up the cross route is going to oh, be wide holding, open. by the way. Well, we're see? never going to call that. But the cross route is wide open. Oh, he never got... Full control of it. I'm okay with the call. Okay, it is a tough okay. call. That's a tough call. But in a championship level play, the, it's a game of inches. And if you can't secure it before your foot goes out, let's watch this from this angle. Oh he, yeah, that's a definite. That's a nasty missed holding call. On a, on he's got to catch that. It's a little bit in front of him. Oh no, he's got to catch it. He didn't have it. Concept. One of these three guys, his wide receiver, is going to come across. The snap. Oh, and it's child, please. And he will cut right My, down his oh. field. And he'll be brought he down at the it. one. Tick, no timeout. No timeouts left. Tick, they tick, have tick. to set up. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh what a flop. Oh. That's an elite level flop. I don't know why. <laughs> he literally slipped on the banana peel, and that will be the half. Wow. My man number 70 trying to find a crack in the system. Maurice That's Taylor tough. Jr. Run that one back because that might be the wow. story of this game. All the Watchmen needed was it. one more yard wow. to get that six more points, you and now it's the half. Yeah, you guys have to understand. It's 13-13. If they were able to score here, they get the ball back with the momentum. And, put the U and, and, and on an untimed down, right. too, they could have set it right. Oh, wow. They should keep guys in. And, wow. folks, we're trying to meticulate Easy. what happened here, whether or not it's the end of the half. It was a great tackle at the goal line, and that's Phenomenal what these games tackle. come down to is the inches that Take you look. need. Take a look. Take a and look. the U have proven they got those Take inches. And, and watch the, the rush here. Pause. No, and bring so it in pause, there. Baby. Mark Bagway watching in the chat right now. We, he's doing some game planning. And the <laughs> clock ticking down here. No whistle. The ref trying to set it up. And, of and course, the guy from Ohio says so a LeBron flop, level flop. flop. <laughs> Shout out to Skyler Hurd in the chat. Someone Ohio who guy, in LeBron pro level wrestling. Flop. That's that great. was a mime level sell. When you look at the discrepancy in total yards, it's because the watchman went the length of the field right before the half, got down to the one, and, and time expired. Score. So a lot of those stats could have led to points. They were really close to scoring position, but credit to the Patterson U, even though they bent a little bit on that last drive and gave up the yardage on the stat sheet, you know a I, lot of this game is off of the stat sheet, especially with Carl Crawley. You know what I liken it to? Empty calories. It's like yep. eating a donut, and that's thrown off Mr. by Incredible. Troy Smith. 
Caught inside the 20. Snags is there. Come here. Excuse me. Oh, he gets past Snags. Gets to the sideline and spins out of play. And and Troy Smith is a guy with a ton of speed. And Lil One has some speed. Shout outs to the the Omegas reference there from Mr. Incredible with the purple (laughs) do-rag. It is humid. Will Will the oxygen be too thick for them to breathe? Caught. And it cuts through and gets to the 50 and drives past to the 47. And that's Amari Thomas. The the more more, more often than not, they're running back in there, settling down right in between the, the coverage. He just catches the ball, gets yardage, and he's been showing all season that when he has open space, he's a tough guy to bring down. Stop complaining. Yeah. Don't even read that chat. The well, snap the pressure, pressure yes. immediately. Oh my Mumpy goodness! To the other side. Rashad Knight and Burton. With Charles Irving leaving, leading the way, my goodness. I mean, veterans on top of veterans on top of veterans. I just named an all-star team. Championship <laughs> level play there by the U defense, showing what we saw two weeks ago against the BIC. Get him to get away. The snap. Oh, more, a little bit more pressure. Screen. Nice cut to the sideline. caught J-Rock. J-Rock is having himself a That's game. Amari Thomas again on the dump off, but you see how they're playing Buck now. Uh-oh. They're not necessarily as concerned with Buck taking off. Buck can dial something up. Maybe he gets a guy wide open, but if you just need an on-time pass, hey, Spookie. The snap. Buck will here's go to the sideline, and he will be stopped at the wow. 50 and almost hit with a total elimination, 13 and 18 in on the oh play. Listen, no Burton. one's surprised that Kenny Prelu has Prelu. the speed to get there. Prelu but Burton. everybody was surprised that Burton was there to clean it up, Burton. and that's a huge hit. I don't think Buck's been hit that hard since Deontay Henderson last I knew year. You were gonna say that. I knew you were going to say that. That lives rent-free in my mind because it didn't happen to me. That's my poor guy. And you see it here on the replay. Getting Buck just doesn't run. have the speed to get on the outside to beat Kenny Prelude. Oh, my god. Well, goodness. as a quarterback on third and 17, when you're not Got hit with guys the like Sterry Codrington, Quattrell Huff, or, or a guy like CP3 where you know you can convert third and 17 on the ground, you have to look for the pass there. And on fourth, a third and 17, they get a three-yard gain. It's fourth and 14, and Buck has now been stopped twice. And, but are thing. those parts interchangeable? Can you swap Buck? For for Ace, the throw wow, by Crossland. Oh, flag. Yeah. That's got to be a flag. No wow. flag throw. Wow. wow. And the Watchman sideline giving the referees a standing ovation on that play. Oh, and it's, then it's going to even on, go further because now it's a penalty on Mims. Mims. Yeah. That's a flag Dakari on Mims. Kari Mims was looking to see a yellow flag, whether he was the cause of Listen, it or not. Listen, that's another I'm mental gonna, mistake penalty. You, that's going to cost. Those yeah, mental mistake penalties cost. are racking up in Watchman defense. Look at the front. Anticipating pressure. Croslin will is. cut to the sideline. He'll stay up. Oh, and ball goes out. And, and the ball will get Recovered it. Recovered by the Watchman. And that's Nick Mays making another huge impact play. You and can't it's actually fu- the Wolverine who got the ball out and it fell right into Nick May's chest. And look at that. Croslin wow. talking with one of his fellow yeah, Baltimoreans. That's tough. that's tough. Yeah, man. What is the difference in the game in the regular season? The difference wasn't the 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 talent level at offensive line or the wide receivers. Turnovers. It was turnovers. So Pablo gets oh, wow. gets going, gets busy. Wow. He's going to fight for extra yardage. He has it there. And it's just Nick oh, Mays Nick being Mays. better. He stripped it. He, he grabbed it. And, and he's it. trying to win this game for his wow. city, his state. And his Gators, guys. Amazing, amazing. That's Watch tough. this. Yeah, that hashtag is more than a catchphrase. And we see that here. Crosland. All he had to do was take the edge. And he hustled. Oh. No, the you, know, you know what? Wolverine. You know what? Most guys, most guys tuck that and it's just a tackle. But the ball wasn't like way out there like a loaf of bread, like we've seen some guys carry the ball in this it's league. Just in a it's game just a like better this, defensive cannot, play from Nick Mays, who knows how to play this game better than risk. anybody on the field. You like you cannot we. take risks like that in a game like that, that close to the, their end zone. You can't do that. And whether you're you a wide receiver, that. whether you're a quarterback, whether you're a three-on-one throw down. guy, whether you're you, where you're playing defensive back because other guys are tired. That's if risky. you got the ball in your hand and you're running around, you got to hold on to it. Out of bounds is your best friend. Just run towards there. You could. You would have got extra like three, four yards. But the last time the Washington were in scoring range, they could not get it done, and listen, that was at the end of the listen, first half. Listen, play action. Tony toe tap. Bottom of your screen. Going up top. Change of possession. That's when you attack. And John Goals loves to do that. If Hem Dog's gonna let him do it, it might be an interception. Snap. Maybe. The hand off the oh, reverse, he's caught, he's caught. and trying to strip that ball out, but they'll bring him down. And again, Rashad Knight was there with Kels Gallimore. They go in a wildcat oh, situation with Amari weird. Thomas. This is weird. This is Buck going in his bag, calling a play. Let's see if it works out. This is weird. 
First and ten. I don't like this. They'll keep this it. Weird. Drive to the five. Bounce to the uh, inside. Oh God, Ooh, and I don't know, but it's Amari Thomas dragging him in there inside the five on first and ten. Be second and eight. Clock ticking down near the six minute mark here in the third. Tie ball game. Off the screen to Matthews. Matthews will be pursued and taken out of play inside the five, inside the ten yard line and Mims in on the tackle. What the U has to do, excuse me, is they have to stop them on consecutive plays. If it's fourth and two, it's not like it's not like the Watchmen are going to throw a three on one out of bounds. Third and five. The throw to the end zone, oh. and it's at the feet of the receiver. A little too much pressure. A bad throw coming from John Goss. Bad throw. It hit him right in the bread basket. If you hit that, somebody in the hip. It, it flop, he floppy threw the ball. That was a pressured throw. Far inside. Fourth and five, trying to get at least the first down. The throw caught. Touchdown, Baltimore! Amari Thomas again, and he's a great running back, and he's proven that so far, but some of his receptions have been just as meaningful, and that's John Gauze punching it in for the six for the Watchmen on fourth down. They'll go for one here on the extra point, the snap. Throw, and they will get it in there! Oh, Antoine he's not even Matthews do it. shirking it. He's not over 9,000 yet. He means business, and Baltimore saying, watch this! They take the lead back, 4.13 left to go. Can Patterson get back on the board? We're gonna find out on the other side. It's the A7FL Divisional Championships. A7FL.TV in the zone. And it'll be the Watchmen throwing off here. And that'll That's be Terrell the Burks. Great train as we hear the train in the background. And Burks will throw a launcher inside the five. Okay. And it's McDaniel yeah. again. Deion McDaniel, McDaniel looking to hustle through the defenders, and he will get stopped and stifled at the 20. And I don't know if it's the wrong the personnel as a returner or just great personnel from the coverage teams, but none of these returns have looked even close to breaking. First and 15. Under three, and almost, under, almost three and a half left to go. Ooh, caught! Dakari Mims, there. Look, is Dakari Mims... The new star of the U. It seems like it. He's They're been passing the, one. the torch. You, you were there in person winning a championship when he kind of burst onto the scene we as wanted, a guy that we knew. Back, for sure. And 100%. he made some amazing plays yeah. there. Now, we wanted to see a little bit more from last season, maybe the regular season. But here in the biggest moment, he's covered by DK Butcher, who's been done a great job on him. But that's Carlos Croslin making things happen Carlos. in the game, in the air game. Excuse me. Croslin evades a defender on first down. Let's, Croslin. Don't fall Goes through. through keeps Hold the ball. Rock. Hold that rock. And there they will go. stop the play at the go. 41. Ooh. Ooh, had to break a sweat, wipe a sweat off beat on my forehead right there. I was a little nervous for Carlos. They think when he's back there and you see him really rip it in there, here's the quick screen and go. But it's it's completely covered by the watchman. It's just a great right, throw, a great, great catch, catch yeah. from Mims. Yeah, that's a great pass. And, and Croslin has been controlling this U offense since the first quarter. He's been the one setting the tone here. And, it's and they really, will bring, back, bring him back, and they'll set up Dakari Mims to the right of the quarterback. And it's really a huge adjustment bringing him in there, There's going no mostly pass, because they've lived and died with that bigger offensive line. But and the, it really shows that but, how great the Watchmen were able to stop it early in this game. Snap on first down. Croslin Ooh, brought down. Watch this. and sacked by Bone. Yikes. Didn't throw it. And here, here's the sack here. Ooh. Just a little bit of au jus on that pit beef sandwich, Ooh. bringing him right down. Yeah. And it'll be second down after the sack. And little I old, am hungry. There's a, there's a little old base season if he decides <laughs> to go and just straight run out of that pocket. Laser Credit him gently. stepping up in the pocket, but you got to let go of the ball because they're going to eventually converge. And that's a great play from the Watchman defense there but to bring him second along. The Watchman's along. defensive backs are very underappreciated and underrated. People don't talk about them enough. They get it done back there, and that's why it takes Croslin so long to find an open target. Well, you see the guys back there, DK Butcher, Ant so, Mo, Sly Washington. Washington. Yeah. Those are tall, lanky, oh. strong guys, and that's uh -oh. going to be five yards. Well, see what's on. on. Side. Second and 20. The snap by Croslin. Oh, my God. Dot Boss gets Croslin throws, and that one's out of reach of the receiver, and it will be third and 20. In that trench game, the bodies were <laughs> yeah. flying. Fists were being thrown. Bone. And there's all kinds Ooh. of things happening in front of the quarterback. That's maybe why he missed the play yeah, there. But Bone credit the coverage. Dot Boss, but he was open. It was a very dangerous throw because Bone is deceptively athletic oh, he's, for he, a guy that size. 
Feels like the Watchman had the ball after all those negative yards for the U. Crosland oh, throws deep and out of reach again. Just a bit much. Crosland's arm might be a little too powerful. Go with Buck, and hey, he's been completing it all year. The snap on first and 10. Crosland has to go over oh. 90 yards. He throws it deep, gets a wow. chunk Hust of yards. Hust, Hust, Hust the defender, Hust, and that is <laughs> dropping through, getting through. Jones is oh still up. Goodness. What a wow. play. Hey, and if he's gonna if he's gonna be open and you okay. deliver it like that, why? who cares okay. who's in uh -oh. there? Uh -oh. Tell me to shut up, Buck. Why not? C CP3, what's going on? Please, Buck, tell him to shut up. Number 81 right on there, the play. That's what you've been asking Buck to do from the beginning of the game. Because he, he can do it. Because yeah. he can. But he saves it for times like this. That Credit is the a, route because this is definitely a double move because Dion gets Not enough gets people rushing. Cooked. That's terrible. Dion gets big. On Absolutely burnt. Wow. Excuse me. Huss. Uh, my ankles. Yeah, but nah, he is he is throw. there to make sure that wow. Hefe can't turn that into a touchdown. And credit the credit Ooh, the look at that shot. Yeah, credit the play by Kells Gallimore to not give up on it and make sure can't that they give get up down. On it, but I'm not gonna lie to you, a play like that hurts. Why is he swinging his feet like that on the sideline? <laughs> but Perry, look at the look at the rush. What rush is Buck facing? What pressure is he under? J Rock just nothing is happening there, waiting to see what yeah, he does. No. Well, Much honestly, in the same way Sly Washington has been doing yeah. on, on Carlos Cross. And, 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 and it's some, somehow for some reason. We have to force ourselves to talk about Amari Thomas, but if you saw the block from Amari Thomas at running back on Charles Irvin, one of the best and most athletic rushers on this, this defense for the U, when, when you can ice out a great rusher with your running back who also catches touchdowns and runs for big yardage, that's the complete that, – that, we talk about RTC being all these courage. The timeout called by the U, the snap. Red blocking. There it is. There's the pressure. And there's Great the throw. makes the throw and the catch. 4 11 48 left the play. I'm Matt Ryan, joined by Big Rob Fabian and Corey Hammond. Tight. The pressure. snap. Shaney in trouble. Wow. Oh, correction. That's. Yeah, that's Shaney. That's, that's Buck. It's, it's just you're not used to him running like that. <laughs> well, and that pump fake has been deadly all season, and unfortunately, he's down. I don't know if he's tired. Now that the hot, it's hot outside, it's right. humid, they're tired. Pressure. They fell for it. Pressure, pressure. Oh, oh, great, great block. block. Wow. The throw to the sideline. Caught no out of play. Child, please, with the catch. Quarterback, and that might be the reason why they're down 20 to 13. Oh, oh. But Cheney in Ooh, trouble. SJ with Cheney the pressure. being pursued. Cheney will oh, cut Charles inside, Irvin. and he will get to the first down marker. And that's a big rush. Look at the if pressure the coming U at him. If plays this properly and drops someone back. Here's the, pro here's the chance thrown to the end zone. Caught. <laughs> Why is he getting cooked in such Touchdown. a fashion? Touchdown! It looked like a punt in the air, guys, but it's when you're that wide open, wow, all you got to yeah. do is get it to your receiver. Hefe, touchdown, wow. and that's a commanding 13.2 score lead for wow. the Watchmen yeah. here with 644. You might be in trouble here, guys. I had to. I had to. Let's see if they can. Will the Watchmen turn this into a Raven's Nest? The okay. throw! Oh, Oh, and a penalty, pardon me, a penalty. This will be only for one. They stop uh, him, and down, we come down to the goal line one nice. more time, and they will call that one out of the end zone. They call him down at the one, so it will remain a 13-point game with 6.44 left to go. Snap, Croslin will be in at wide receiver, Moon in at quarterback. The snap, Moon in trouble. He'll evade one defender. They will chase and pursue. Moon will cut to the sideline. He will juke yes. two defenders, yes. one out to the sideline, and will get barely to where he wants to go, and it will be second down. They're going to have to win this game in the air, guys. After the game is six, second and four, it's there's the Mims. screen to Mims. Oh, my goodness. It's blown up at the 41-yard, the 31-yard line. Yeah, that's not, yeah. Smiling. I'm if things all stay my the way they are, it's lined up for a rematch party. against Baltimore. The snap. Oh, Moon hit while he tried to throw. And Nick it brings Mays down a Miller brother. Nick. With, wow. With he a, might be the wow. MVP of the playoffs He's after this one. He's 100% the MVP of this game. With that sack, might have sealed the deal for Nick Mays being the defensive MVP of the playoffs right now. Well, he has the touchdown catch. He touchdown has the catch. fumble re and recovery. recovery. And on third and, and, and third whatever. And three sack? Yeah. yeah, you can't hand it to anyone else and, and, and think anything else. And right now, the, the thing that's been the, the used friend all Take season is that clock. Crack. Oh, my goodness. A friend is now turned to an enemy because down 13, 
The U are looking up at the clock, and it continues to tick down. Their ticking. season is now almost within four minutes in fourth and nine, and the Corey, biggest play of the season. Corey, Who's the quarterback? Me, Carlos Crosland. Please tell me if I'm wrong, Corey. This, this season is very reminiscent of a 2017 season that also followed a BIC championship. This looks mm. a lot, a lot, a lot Except like Except for it. being two teams in the championship, it's now there's two teams as one in the championship for the Northeast. Hey, man. Looking to punch their ticket to Columbus. Timeout, Patterson. Timeout called by the U. That's their second charge this timeout. Tough, Through Incredible or Moon, I would take that on fourth and nine every time. Fourth and oh nine, Croslin immediately in trouble. Croslin brought wow. down at the 19. Who is it? Mean Machine Nick Mays. Of course it is. Go hand him an MVP. Just, just write MVP on the paper and go hand it to him. And if the Watchmen win this game, there's no more Jersey team left. And this Watchmen team has set the tone since the start of the second half. And that half. wasn't Amari. That was Blick. On, in the first quarter, it was all the Baltimore Watchmen. In the second quarter, the U came back. And then as soon as this third quarter started, the, Rob, you said it. Watchmen getting, giving you the ball first. The third and four. The pressure. The Beefy. throw. Caught. Wow. Touchdown, yeah. Baltimore. Yeah, it's over. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. It is. Get over there, Beefy. I rarely say it's over. There's Ant Mo. Beefy, do your thing. Ant Mo, Beefy, do you. There's Watch. FA. They're oh. coming out here. Oh and we've been waiting to watch goodness. this all season because oh we haven't seen goodness. you guys in Games of the Week enough. And we Ricardo are now Freeman. witness to the Baltimore Super Team, the Watchmen. And now maybe Staking Vegas. Maybe guys in Vegas are going to watch and say, wait a second. Maybe the Watchmen are better than we thought. Because Wait a this second. is out of the big three in the East, mm -hmm. no one ever picked them to win. Look at J Rock getting completely dumb. Oh my God, J Rock is crushed. And this Somebody was the matchup that was oh, wow, worrisome for the U walking into this because they were the they only lost. lost. Them. The game was pretty much over at that point. And here's the extra point going for one in trouble, throws. And that one will be catch. caught. Yeah, no, yeah, no. And yeah, it is now a yeah, twenty-point yeah. game. <laughs> yeah, that's that's pretty. And he throws up the U, and drops it. My goodness, this is very. Rem Jabril Beeman said it. This is very reminiscent to the time that the U lost to the Immortals by fifty in the playoffs. Very reminiscent. Yeah, well. Um, look at he's throwing up the U. This is bad. When it counted, when it mattered. Well, the fact is, is that he hasn't gotten past the semifinals, and that's going to be next next game time we see this team. Well, if a it, miracle doesn't happen, weather. which it won't. They have the untimed down here to try to make something happen to you trying to make it, and they will get to around the 39. Maybe the answer. Right. Do we get a point two point oh? Oh, let me stop, because last time I shaded the it was Sean Knight. handoff. There's hard body. Yeah, and Marcus McKinney will get to the 44, and it will be second down and one. Their locker room handoff Snap again, the hard body. Gets it to the 41, and, and it looks like they'll here. call timeout. But you played... One hell of a game, that second half scoring 20 unanswered points, and we'll see this throw go in. Oh, it almost intercepted, what a play caught! Mm -hmm. Incomplete, they'll call that one incomplete. A New Jersey team will not be represented in the A7FL mm -hmm. championship. A song once said, walk through the garden, you better watch your back. <laughs> and the Patterson U find themselves way down in the hole. Hashtag watch this. <laughs> Gentlemen, congratulations. Thank, thank, you, you, sir. thank, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. This has been a broadcast of the American Sevens Football League. Like, follow, and share on our Facebook page at A7FL TV.